Hi and welcome back. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to quickly do or discuss or look at how to insert numbering into a paragraph. All right, so over here we have three paragraphs with bullets, as you can see there. All right, so the quick and easy way is to just select all three paragraphs in one go. You can do them separately if you wanted to, but it's just much faster if you do it afterwards after you've typed your paragraph or have your paragraph select the paragraphs and then you click on home under the paragraph group go and select the numbering option or button next to bullets you have bullets numbering and then there's also something next to numbering it's called multi-level numbering we will look at that in another video but for now let's look at the numbering option and then you just well, before you click on it, click on the arrow so that you can see your different options, numbering style options that you have. You can have numbers with bullets, numbers without, sorry, numbers with full stops, numbers without full stops, um, letters of the alphabet with full stops, brackets, Roman numericals, etc., etc. All right, so I'm just going to choose the first option over here. And as you can see, the numbering has been inserted. But there's other things that you can do as well. As you can see, the numbering is not, it's not against the margin, so it doesn't follow. And you can actually make sure that it goes against the margin. And how do you do that? You basically right click on your numbering, right click on it so that you can get your shortcut menu. Then you will either use adjust list indents, continue numbering or set a numbering value. And we're going to do all three of these. The first one is I'm going to adjust the list indents. In other words, I want this numbering to be against the margin. Currently, my numbering position is 0, 0,63 centimeters from the margin. So I'm just going to delete the contents inside of it and I'm going to type in zero. In other words, I want it to be against the margin, zero places from the margin. If I click OK, you will see that my numbering has now jumped against the margin. The space between the number and the rest of the text or the paragraph is a little bit too far apart. So I'm going to, I want the space between my number and my paragraph to be let's say one centimeter. Now it all depends on what your question paper specifies. All right, but let's say the question paper says one centimeter. So what you're going to do is you're going to again, right click on your numbering so that you can get your menu. You're going to click on adjust list indents and then the text, you're gonna insert one. And you can type in CM if you want to, but the reason why I don't type in CM is because my PC has already been set to centimeters. So that's all you do and you click on O. Okay, now there's a one centimeter space. If I activate my ruler by clicking on view, ruler, I can see that it is exactly one centimeter from the margin all right students that is how you insert numbering